name is Marshall Holton, Dale University of Technology. And I'm Bethany Ford, a postdoc at the Delft University of Technology. So the question is, how to develop a process in downstream processing. So there are several approaches that you could use. The traditional approaches, also the novel approaches, where are high throughput screening, for example, they use, but also knowledge-based approaches. And in practice, platform approaches are being used, but they have also their pros and cons. It's not easy to apply that to a completely new type of product. So what we developed here in Delft is a knowledge-based process development approach. What you can see here, at the bottom of it, is modeling, modeling the different unit operations. But for that, we need also a lot of data of the molecules that we're trying to separate. So we need to come up with a fractionation and characterization scheme uh, that describes the molecules and their interaction with the different resins that we use during process development. This paper is about investigating this uh, route, this fractionation and characterization route. And uh, the approach that we taken will be subsequently explained by our postdoc back in the info. The multidimensional fractionation and characterization scheme was designed to obtain molecular properties descriptors required for protein purification from crude biological mixtures using non-affinity chromatographic techniques such as ion exchange chromatography, hydrophobic interaction chromatography, and size exclusion chromatography. First, the crude biological mixture is fractionated in a high-resolution pH gradient ion exchange operation. Results from pH gradient operation provides information on the complexity of the crude biological mixture as well as the elution pH and elution conductivities of the major proteins. Having obtained the most optimal chromatographic absorbance and operating conditions by means of high throughput screening, the crude biological mixture is further fractionated in salt gradient ion exchange operations. Data obtained from these salt gradient operations is used for the regression of ion exchange isotherm parameters. Fractions from salt gradient fractionation are further injected into the heat dimension after adjustment of conductivity. Similarly, data obtained from the heat operation are used for regressing the heat isotherm parameters. Next, the fractions from the ion exchange, cation exchange and heat operations are further desalted, pre-concentrated and analyzed by SDS page. SDS page provides information on the molecular size and relative concentrations of the major protein bands. The major protein bands are then spliced, triptych digested and analyzed by mass spectrometry to obtain the unique protein identities. Finally, a molecular properties database is set up by assigning the obtained molecular properties to the identified proteins. Now, once the molecular property database has been set up, then it can be applied to introduce more rationale in downstream process development. One application of this is for identification of the critical contaminants in the protein mixture. By critical contaminants, I refer here to contaminants that are most troublesome to remove, mainly because they have very close physical chemical properties to the target molecule. Now, by identifying and characterizing these critical contaminants, we can actually um, find more suitable techniques for their removal. In current downstream process development, process synthesis is mainly a heuristic task, whereby unit operations are used based on experience. Molecular properties descriptors could be used for uh, introducing more rationale in downstream process synthesis as exemplified in this paper. Another approach is to use these molecular properties descriptors as input for more detailed modeling of the downstream process unit operations. In this way, the unit operations can be optimized and evaluated in silico, thereby the saving experimental time, material, and cost. So, concluding, the future of this approach lies in further miniaturization, automation, 
right through the screening and novel analytical tools developed.